Hello and welcome to this 20 minute dumbbell shoulders and arms workout. A short effective workout to build muscle and pump up the shoulders, the biceps, the triceps. So are you ready? Let's get started in the warm up. So let's start with some big arm circles, warming up the shoulders, warming up the arms. We'll spend a few minutes in this very important part to make sure that we don't get any injuries and that we are fully warmed up to get the most out of this workout. In this workout, we'll be going for 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest on six exercises for two sets each. It's gonna be fun, we're gonna get pumped up. And I have a pair of sixes and a pair of four kilograms. So hopefully you have some different weights to work with, but if you just have one pair, then that is fine as well. And comment underneath and let me know which weights you're using. And let's take it into torso rotations. So just let the arms hang, keep them quite relaxed and enjoy the stretch through the chest, the shoulders. Allow a little bit of maybe like soft tapping or massaging in your shoulders, allowing your hips to go side to side. Keep a nice bend in the knees. We'll start with warming up and then we'll do activation and mobility to make sure we're working on the health of our shoulders as well as building the muscle. <clears throat> okay, come down to the ground into a cat and cow position, hands and knees, drop the belly, elevate the chest. We're gonna lengthen and flex through the spine. Move between these two positions slowly with your breath. Engaging the core, spreading your fingers on the ground. Take your time and just work through the spine, dropping your chin into the chest and then extending out, elevating the chest. And last one. Stay here for a reach through, rotate. So take one arm, reach it through under the body, drop your shoulder, twist through the spine. Then when you're ready, reach that arm up, all the way up to the ceiling, engaging the back, the arms lengthen up and repeat on the same side, getting that full rotation and mobility through the spine and shoulders halfway. Keep breathing, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Same on the other side, release the other arm, reach through, drop the shoulders, and rotate. Engaging the core, getting the rotation through the torso, the spine, as well as seeing that lengthen that extension in the arms. Engaging and squeezing the muscles in your shoulders and back as you rotate. 10 seconds. Two, one. Okay, bring your hands onto the ground into a high plank. Tuck the toes under and lift up into this high plank position on your hands. Final exercise, hold it here. You can drop the knees on the floor if you need to. Keep your shoulders above your hands. Think about pushing away from the floor, separating the scapula in the upper back, lengthening the arms, engaging in the shoulders. Lengthen your neck, drop your chin. 15 seconds, hold it here. Final exercise in the warm up before we start lifting the dumbbells. Engage the core, lengthen the legs. Five seconds. Okay, good. Rest there. We're going to transition the timer into 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. And we're going straight into exercise one, which is the shoulder press. Standard 
shoulder press. If you have a variety of weights, then you need the heavier version, the heavier weight for the shoulder press. And then we'll use lighter weights for the isolation of lateral raises. So when you're ready, we're gonna go for two sets of 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. I am looking forward to burning out the shoulders and arms with you. Here we go. Fully extend the arms, drop down, elbows at 90 degrees or a little bit lower. Push up directly above the head. I don't want to see any leaning back and pushing up like this. We want to see chest forwards. Engage the shoulder blades together. Core engaged, long legs. 10 seconds. Keep the tension in the shoulders. And rest, 20 seconds rest, and we go again for the second set. So all of these exercises, we're gonna do two sets before we move on to the next exercise. So we can really burn out in that exercise. So we're going straight back in. Three, two, one. Let's go. All of our shoulders are different different mobility, different flexibility, different comfort places. So play around with elbow position. You might have quite a narrow elbow here or a wide elbow if you're quite flexible and strong. Never push past any shoulder pain. Always reduce the weight or position. Slowly does it. Eight, seven, And rest there, well done. We're gonna go into a lateral raise. A lighter weight normally needed in comparison. Palms facing inwards. Bend the elbows a little bit, lifting up to shoulder height and back down. Shoulder height and back down. Get ready, in two, one. Here we go, exercise two, two sets of 40 seconds. Keeping your palms facing inwards and downwards. Think about your pinky finger being as high or higher than your thumb. This will prevent the hands turning out like this. We want the hands to come out like this to really work the deltoids across the top of the shoulders. It's burning already, this is good. We're building muscle in the upper body, the shoulders shaping up this upper body. Four, three, two, one, and rest. 20 seconds rest. Enjoy the rest before we pick those weights back up. Two, one, here we go, same again. It's not about how many reps you get, just good quality, Time under tension for those muscles. As you get to shoulder height, think about lifting the shoulders and squeezing those deltoids and upper back shoulder muscles. If you need to rest, you can always do one arm and then the other arm. So you're still working, still moving. Four, three, Two, one, and rest. We are taking it next into the front raise. The same thing, but now just straight up to the front. Palms still facing downwards, but coming up straight out in front of us. Get ready in 10 seconds. Still, shoulder height, palms facing down. Micro pause to squeeze and release. Two, one, let's go. Shoulder height and release. So it's the same thing. Still really working across the shoulders. As I promised, we're gonna burn out that area, but a slight variation in the deltoids working. The deltoids across the top of the shoulders here have a medial, a lateral, and an anterior part of the deltoids. And here we're really working that front area as well as the middle. 10 seconds. Three, two, 
One. And rest for 20 before we go again. Five, four, get ready for the front raise, second set, let's go. Try to keep the shoulders back, engaged, and lifting the hands up and also out away from you. So not just short raises here, but lengthen. And again, if you burn out, one arm at a time, is a good way to make it a slightly easier exercise because you get more rest. 10 seconds. Two, one, and rest. Two exercises for two sets complete. Now, let's work the back of the shoulders and upper back here in a bent over rear fly. Gonna hold onto the dumbbells, straight back bent over position, and lifting up from here. Same as the lateral raise, but now in a bent over position. Get ready. Let's go. Lifting out to the side. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Upper back working. And those rear deltoids building that strong upper back and shoulder area. Let's go. Keep it going, five seconds. And rest, well done. 20 seconds rest before going again. This is the last 40 seconds in the shoulders before we bicep curl and tricep extension. Okay, rear fly, final time. Let's go. Healthy neck and spine, strong straight back, bend the knees. And think about feeling behind the shoulders, at the back. Again, if you burn out, one arm at a time, nice and safely, 10 seconds. Two, one, and rest. All right, let's take it into the arms, starting in a standard bicep curl. From here, palms in, turning both arms up, curl the palms to the shoulders and back down. We are transitioning now into the arms section. Shoulders are blasted. Off you go. Squeeze it in, release. And again, we've got two sets. It's all about that time under tension, burning it out. And also the mind to muscle connection, thinking about the muscle group that is working and consciously squeezing. 15 seconds left. And rest, well done. You're probably thinking, why do I keep the fours? You're right. Second set, I'm going back up to the sixes. 10 seconds rest, and second set of bicep curls. Get ready, let's go. Keep the shoulders down and back to keep those healthy shoulders in place. We don't want to be lifting with front shoulders like this. Pull them back, healthy posture. Ten seconds, squeeze. Two. 
two, one, and rest. Okay, two exercises on triceps and we are done. Take two dumbbells or one dumbbell if you like, up above the head, bend the elbows behind the head and fully extend to the top, working the triceps at the back of the arm. Get ready in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, bend, stretch and push. Here we go, two sets to finish the workout. Try to keep the elbows quite narrow. You don't want them really flaring out like this. And you don't want to be pushing past any elbow pain. Make sure you're comfortable. You feel the triceps and the arms working. Keep breathing, 10 seconds. Two, one, and rest. We have final 40 seconds of the workout. Here we go, 40 seconds, tricep extension to finish. Let's go. Fifteen seconds, keep pushing. Seven, six, two, one, and rest. There, okay. Dumbbells down, shake off the arms. Well done. Stay with me, whatever you're doing next, important that you just join me for a couple of stretches. 30 seconds on a few different positions. Okay, once you've had a drink, drop the dumbbells down. Let's do a nice big upper back stretch. Interlock the fingers, drop your chin and roll your shoulders forwards. You can stand or kneel, up to you. Lengthen off through the back. So I promised you a short and effective shoulders and arms blast. And that was it. Well done. And if you're looking for results in these areas, then just be consistent with these exercises. Bring one arm across the body into a shoulder stretch. Again, you can be kneeling or standing. Drop the shoulders down and pull across. So yeah, make sure you're doing these workouts alongside my other workouts and be consistent. Every couple of days or every few days, getting these muscles working will help you build muscle shape up and tone those areas. Shake it off and switch to the other arm. Cross your body, pull it in and down. And if you like dumbbell training with me and you want more of a program, more of a structure, so all you gotta do is follow, then I've done all the hard work for you. All you gotta do is go to my app in the App Store, iOS and Android worldwide. So wherever you are, you can give it a go. And I have a dumbbell only training program just like this to get fit, strong, lean and healthy. So make sure you check it out. Any questions then let me know. Final two stretches for the triceps. One arm behind the head, hold onto the elbow softly, reach the fingers down your back. And finally, whilst we're just stretching for the final minute here, I've got this amazing bulk bottle recently don't know if you noticed, but it's saving my life at the moment with these two compartments that you can put your protein powders in and then open them up, switch arms, and um, open them up whenever you're about to train or after your workouts. So if you'd like that bottle and any supplements, then make sure you click the links in my description to go to bulk as well. <sighs> okay, final 10 seconds, enjoy that final Stretch in the triceps. Ah. 
Ah, well done, shake it off. Any more stretches you need, then go for it now. Otherwise, well done, thank you so much for joining. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.